Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. We are back today with very unfortunate news. As you may have already probably heard, Kate Middleton had completely disappeared from the public eye ever since December. Kensington Palace had given us a heads up about this saying that she would be undergoing major abdominal surgery with no further details given as to why. Earlier this year, a spokesperson for Kensington Palace said that she underwent the surgery and reiterated that the princess was, quote, doing well. Despite this, a number of theories have emerged on sites like X and TikTok, and everybody and their mothers were speculating about Kate's whereabouts and her health condition. Before we get into what actually happened and the latest updates, here are a few different theories as to where she's been. First off, there's the BBL or facelift rumors. The story being that Kate probably got some form of plastic surgery, mainly either a BBL or a facelift, and is taking this time to recover from surgery. At around the two month mark, somebody tweeted, Kate Middleton hasn't been seen for about two months now. And they Googled the BBL recovery time, which came out as about two to three months. And then there's all these photoshopped pictures of Kate having a BBL. And then there's this theory that she got ugly bangs and is waiting to grow them out. There's also this theory that she's now with Pete Davidson. If you're doing a planned abdominal surgery, why are you photoshopping pictures? Like just do your surgery and go. Why do we have a bunch of Photoshop pics everywhere? Anyway, I found her. There's only one man that can get every single famous woman, no matter the type. It was so obvious from the start. He's been missing too. And on a more serious note, there's the theory that William cheated on her and is having a baby with another woman. Kate Middleton's disappearance from the public eye has fueled long-standing speculation that Prince William and his rumored mistress, Rose Hanbury, are having an affair of their own. Some have even raised the troubling notion that Kate and William have actually split up. To add fuel to the fire, a few outlets have recently published profiles of Hanbury. Rumors of William and Hanbury having an affair have floated around for years. Reportedly, Hanbury was close with the royal couple before the British tabloid The Sun reported that she and Kate had a supposed falling out. But she was in front of Kate and she is currently pregnant. But the tea is, allegedly, the baby is Williams and she's keeping it and maybe that's why we haven't seen her so much on social media or in the tabloids because this is going on behind the scenes. And that's why I say the apple clearly does not fall far from the tree because this whole time, allegedly, William, who is married to Kate, is having an affair with Lady Danbury or whatever, Rose Danbury, whatever her name is. Then there was this Photoshop fail that Kate posted on Mother's Day on her official Instagram account. People were immediately sussed out by this picture. Like, there's the weird hands and then everything just looks a little bit off. And clearly you can see the inconsistencies in this picture. And this was actually confirmed by many sources. LiveNowFox.com reported, metadata from Kate Middleton's Mother's Day family photo revealed the image had been digitally altered multiple times before it was published on the official royal social media platforms. Information included in the photo data showed timestamps indicating the photo was first edited at 9.54pm on Friday, March 8th in Photoshop. On March 9th, the image was altered once again at 9.39am. The data does not indicate who exactly altered the image, although Kate issued an apology for the confusion surrounding, quote, editing the photo. She said, like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. And then earlier this month, this photo surfaced of the back of Kate's head in a car, but people were not seeming to believe that this was Kate saying things like, why would she get all dolled up to not even pose for a single picture? And then earlier this week, TMZ got this video of Kate and William out and about visiting a business about a mile from their home in Windsor, known as the Windsor Farm Shop. Their three kids weren't with them, but the son also claims that they spent the first part of their Saturday watching the children play sports. However, skeptics on the internet were still convinced that the video was manipulated and fake. Andy Cohen even tweeted, that ain't Kate. 
Some people were even saying that this was Kate's lookalike. I have watched the Team Z video a million times and it's not crazy for anyone to think that that is not Kate. Do you think that this is Kate? It's not. She has so many doppelgangers. Like, this is Heidi Agen. She's like the most famous one and it looks legit. This one is just crazy. They could have us fooled. Like they easily, easily could hire her to do a quick little walk, and get it filmed by TMZ. Absolutely. If we are all wrong, it could be that she lost a little weight because she had surgery and we are all just crazy. Or maybe they just hired a Kate Middleton double. But the more that I look at it, the more I'm like, that's not her. And my next question is, do we think that this is Will? The only way I'll believe any of this is if I get a video from multiple angles from different people. I studied PR. One of the most basic concepts in PR is that you need to tell your story before anyone else does. Because a PR crisis is usually resolved with a degree of transparency. The public is not dumb. It's 2024, we all have iPhones, we all are able to easily access information that could prove to us that this video is not Right. Heidi Agen, Kate's main lookalike, however, came out with a video saying that that is not her. Given my alibi that no, it wasn't me in the video, I was actually at work. Hmm, sounds awfully like what someone who is a career lookalike would say. <laughs> Just kidding. So I think it is 100% her. I haven't received any threats at all, but um, people are concerned about the whereabouts of Kate Middleton. Usually our work follows the trends that the royal family does. So if they're busy, we're busy. Um, so in previous years, like when she's been pregnant and, and has been out of the spotlight, then work would fall, I suppose, out of respect for her and her health. So I assumed that that would happen this time, but it hasn't followed that trend. And um, I have had a lot more requests for work, um, I think just because she's been missing for so long. If I walk into crowded places at the moment, I think because she hasn't been seen for so long, um, I walked into a place on Saturday and the whole place erupted and was just like, Kate Middleton's here! I think all the conspiracy theories have started because there is not a lot of information about what's happened with her. The King put out a statement to say what's wrong with him and I think everybody expected Kate to do the same. She didn't and she's kept very quiet about it and been very private about it. At the moment, I think that um, the whole conspiracy theory thing has gone a little bit too far. Um, I think that originally it started out as a little bit of a joke of where is she, what is she doing, you know, is she okay? I think she's 100% fine. Um, I think she's had a surgery and needs to recover. We need to respect that. She's um, a public figure. She's not public property. Everybody else has their right to privacy with their medical records and she needs that as well. People were just confused as to why Kate doesn't just come out with a video herself talking to the camera and letting people know that she's okay. You mean to tell me that this Kate Middleton, who was wearing four inch heels hours after she delivered her babies, walking down the front steps of the hospital for a breast shoot. Honestly, having a baby, abdominal surgery, I'm gonna put them probably close to the same level. You're telling me that she can't get out in front of the press and say, even just like a shoulders up video and just say, hey everyone, thank you for the concern. Thank you for the well wishes. I'm doing okay and I'll be right back out. You're telling me that she can't do that? So now just today, Kate announced the real truth. She was unfortunately diagnosed with cancer and was undergoing chemotherapy. She finally came out with a video herself confirming that she did indeed undergo major abdominal surgery earlier in January and at the time it was thought that her condition was non-cancerous. However, tests after the operation found that the cancer had been present so she is now undergoing a course of preventative chemotherapy. This of course came as a huge shock and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too. She thanks the public for their love and support but asks for space and privacy while she completes her treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I'm able. But for now, I must focus on making a full recovery. One user commented, I feel bad she couldn't just deal with her medical issues in private, wishing her a speedy recovery. Another user said, I had a feeling it was a serious matter. The court of public opinion should leave her and her family alone. Cancer can be devastating privately, let alone the struggles of suffering publicly. It's horrible that people can't leave her alone. This comes from a place of personal experience. Well wishes, Kate.
I mean, it is a bit ironic, in my opinion, that everything that Kensington Palace had been coming out with was actually true, and people just have such major distrust for them and the media that they completely ignored all the signs which were pointing to Kate having been struggling with her health, and they instead jumped to crazy conclusions like cheating rumors or plastic surgery. I would love to know your guys' opinions on this, so make sure to comment down below what you think. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and want more from this channel. And for now, bye-bye.